This is my review of the Thunder Laser Aurora Pro 50 watt fiber laser. Before I get into this, I wanna make it very clear that this laser was sent to me completely for free to integrate into my YouTube channel to be able to show it off. I absolutely love creating projects, specifically projects to sell, and this fiber laser is something that I am so glad is in the shop. It has opened up a ton of new doors for me and possibilities. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this laser, go ahead and hang out because we're gonna be talking about it, specifically how I use it in my shop. Let's go ahead and start at the very beginning and talk about just kind of like my experience with Thunder Laser themselves as a company. Um, they got in touch with me, like I said, they wanted to send out a laser to integrate into my videos. I was very interested in fiber lasers and we went back and forth for a very long time and I was adamant that I needed a specific board and that board was gonna be EasyCAD 3 compatible. I have not used EasyCAD at all and that was my biggest mistake. First and foremost, upfront, uh, that was my mistake. I told them that I really needed EasyCAD 3 instead of EasyCAD 2. And the upfront benefit of EasyCAD 2 is it is compatible with Lightburn. So if you're brand new to lasers and you're looking at getting a fiber laser, I would tell you just to not look at anything that isn't compatible with Lightburn. Make sure your laser is compatible with Lightburn. Um, that was a big thing for me and it caused a massive headache, specifically months of learning. Because when you go on the internet and you look at people that use Lightburn, there's a lot of tutorials. There's not a lot for EasyCAD 3. If you know about EasyCAD 3 and you're comfortable with it, go for it. <laughs> if you're not, do not. <laughs> that has been my only pain point through this thing, and that is the software that I specifically told Thunder Laser I really needed because I, I don't know, I fell into some hype on a forum and uh, shouldn't have. Uh, let's talk for a second about just like shipping and getting it here. It comes in a very big crate, came in a box truck. Uh, luckily, the guy helped me actually like bring it to back to my shop, uh, but it's really heavy. So yes, I did have to have help to be able to put it up on this platform. It is very heavy, but also super well made. Let's look at this laser itself. It's got a ton of safety features. This entire thing closes down and you have a viewing window. Supposedly, this acrylic is laser safe. When looking at fiber lasers, there are a ton of warnings scattered out around here. And to be honest, I don't really know about how to hurt yourself with this laser. I've seen people like put their hands under it and stuff and say that it's completely safe, but there's a lot of stickers on here talking about radiation. So when you're using your machine, I would definitely recommend to have it closed and have it vented. And that's what this machine really excels in. When looking at fiber lasers and you see all the different options, the price points on these are higher, but I would have zero issue putting this into a learning space, specifically like a high school because it has so many safety features built into it and just like easy things. So let's go over those features, specifically the ones that I used a ton and they really made a difference for me in my shop. So first and foremost, when you're venting out fumes, uh, right here you can see like all this nasty stuff <laughs> that's back there. It pulls out those fumes like nobody's business and I'm super happy that it's not going into my shop. Especially if you're using it a ton, you're burning things like powder coating, just like these ornament blanks right here, it produces a lot of smoke and that smoke is not good for you. Having a machine that already has that built into it is a huge plus. You'll look at a lot of other fiber lasers out there and it's just kind of like an open platform and then you buy a separate fume extractor and you bring that fume extractor to the project of what you're doing. This is just... You close the door, you start it, everything is contained and is automatically being thrown outside of the shop. Huge plus. Next up is the autofocus. Um, I watched a ton of videos before getting a fiber laser and I saw all these people with the wheels and focusing things and having focusing sticks. Um, when you're paying a premium price for a premium product, you really hope that it has all the bells and whistles and the autofocus is so nice. Specifically when looking at things like these keys. So when I laser the face of this, versus lasering the actual key portion of it, those depths are a little bit different and it is so easy just to be able to press this autofocus button on it and it automatically will focus where it needs to. I cannot tell you how nice it is just to be able to constantly go from different materials and touch a button, it automatically moves the Z axis and you are all set and you know it's gonna make a nice crisp engraving. 
And speaking of just kind of like making a nice crisp engraving, when you're batching stuff out, it's got a start button right here that is just so nice because like I said earlier with EasyCAD 3, um, EasyCAD 3 is a little bit of a nightmare and is prone to crashing so much. And it's just nice not touching the laptop at all. So when you've got everything set up, you just hit the start button every single time and it's gonna do exactly what you need and you never really have to touch your laptop. When speaking about laptops, you do have to have your laptop hooked up to this in order for it to work. Although it does not require Wi-Fi. I do not have Wi-Fi here in my barn and I'm very thankful that you don't have to have Wi-Fi to run this machine, but you do have to have a computer hooked up to it and your computer doesn't even really have to be that nice. You can just have like a really crappy Chromebook and that's all you're really gonna need it for. I would highly recommend just getting a dedicated laptop just for your laser. See if I can turn it on without the laptop because my laptop's in my house right now. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got the fan. The fan runs when it's turned on all the time. It doesn't just turn on whenever you're running a program. So that fan is constantly pulling stuff out. I know I'm gonna get asked about the lenses and I'm pretty sure it comes with a 170 millimeter lens, uh, but that might've changed since I got mine. But I wanted to show really quickly just the autofocus on here and then I'll turn this back off so it's not annoying everybody. But I put a material there and moved up. I put something right here, autofocus, it's gonna bring it down. So the autofocus laser is at the very front of the machine, very easy to use, and then the center is gonna be a little bit farther back in the machine. And right now I've just got a very quickly thrown together jig for these uh, Orna blanks that I can toss an Orna blank in, go ahead and laser that, and then pull out another one. Obviously it is not an elegant solution, but it works for right now. Just like many other fiber lasers, it has this base plate with a bunch of bolt holes so you can set up jigs. Uh, I'll be getting more into that as I continue to use this and really figure out exactly what I'm using it for. But for right now, <laughs> I'm just cutting random stuff on the CNC uh, just to be able to line stuff up and obviously not very elegant. Another really cool feature is this little light up top. It's green when it's ready to go, but it's red when it's actually running a job. And it's really nice when you're running a long job on it. And yeah, I've run like a 30 minute job on it just to see if it would like conk out or whatever. Absolutely nothing changed it. It worked really, really well. But for those longer jobs, it's really nice to be able to easily look over and identify if the machine's actually running or if it's done. That light is something that like when I first unpacked it, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I've used it so many times. It is so nice just to know when it is running and when it's ready to be able to throw the next thing in there to start the next job. So I know this review is not gonna be a super in-depth technical review. This review is somebody like me who is looking to get a fiber laser, but honestly has no idea where to start. When I look at this machine, I look at all the positives and I look at all the pain points. The pain points really are in software. And when you're looking at getting a CNC machine, whether that is a router or a laser or a 3D printer, a lot of the frustrations that you're gonna find are really based on the software that you're using. So when you're using like very reputable, widely used software, not only are you gonna be able to answer your questions a lot quicker, I specifically would just make sure that there are other people out there that are using it. So Lightburn, like I said, it is widely known and widely used. So being able to find somebody that's able to answer your questions for those things is going to be a lot easier. Speaking of answering your questions, Thunder Laser has a dedicated United States based customer service that have been incredibly responsive for literally everything that I've needed. It doesn't matter if it's on the weekend, weekday, they've always been like right on the spot. And also there are a ton of like Facebook forums and stuff of people that are specifically just using fiber lasers that I've learned a lot off of as well. So my experience with Thunder Laser overall has been positive. I don't make a single dime if you choose to go with Thunder Laser, but I highly would recommend that if you're even just looking into the laser world, setting up an appointment and talking with them, it's completely free, zero pressure, and they can talk you through if a CO2 laser is best for you or a fiber laser, and then each individual one of what is gonna work best for you based on bed size and power and everything in between, because the truth is it can get quite confusing when looking at lasers. So would I recommend this fiber laser to people? 100%. But I would also be aware of what you're trying to make and what you're realistically getting into. Is learning software something that comes easily to you? Is it something that you can easily integrate into your workflow? I don't know you, I can't answer those questions for you, but for me, this laser is an absolute beast and I'm so excited that I have it in the shop. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I really do appreciate it. And thank you once again, Thunder Laser, for sending this over. It is awesome. All right, see you and see y'all later. Bye.